Hello everyone. Last weekend I found this um, colony of woolly apple aphids on one of my apple trees. It's a serious pest, uh, so I'd like to show it to you. It looks like um, cotton candy sitting on the, on the tree, and if you take a close look, you will see that it excretes a fatty, fibrous, uh, thread-like um, substance that uh, if you move the cottony part uh, aside you will see a uh, sea of aphids um, sucking the life out of the apple tree. If left uh, unattended this aphid will create several generation uh, in the course of a summer ending up with uh, females that are winged and able to fly to different places and infect uh, even more trees. Um, eventually woolly apple aphid will migrate down to the root system of a tree and when it gets to the root system then you can't eradicate it with anything including very harsh chemicals. Uh, if it infects the root system of a young tree, it will dwarf the tree, and in the case of older tree, it will substantially reduce the yield. Here I'm just disturbing the colony so you can see uh, aphids in different stages. There are really young ones, um, larger ones, even on the upper right you can see one that is just about to hatch. Their uh, biological control, the primary biological control are beneficial insects that attack aphids, uh, lady beetles, uh, green lacewing, um, surfed fly, soldier beetles, um, they don't discriminate against any aphids, they eat all of them. Uh, they don't like the, the fibrous stuff, so the lady beetle ends up preening itself a lot, but um, it does does eat them. And I was really especially glad to see the, the larva um, right here. This is the larva of a lady beetle. These guys don't move much, uh, but they are voracious eaters, and the existence of that larva tells me that there's an entire colony of lady beetles uh, nearby and, and this baby has just emerged. The most effective biological control of this pest is provided by a wasp uh, that is entering the screen from the left hand side. Uh, it's called a Philinus molly, a molly. Uh, it's tiny, uh, smaller than, than an aphid. And it has a parasitic relationship with aphids. It um, impregnates an aphid with an egg and um, 30 to 50 days later you end up with a new wasp and a dead aphid with a hole in the middle of its stomach. Here in the center of the screen you see that uh, a molly um, has made its way is going to find an egg and impregnate it and I'm gonna be quiet so you can enjoy this amazing sight. There we go, all done one less aphid and one more wasp. Once the emali impregnates the, the aphid, the aphids turn black and die. And that's one of the ways you can tell that you have emalis around. So in effect I could have left this pest alone, let nature take care of itself, which I often do. But this is a serious pest and I didn't want to take a chance.